This is Joseph Blau Brewer for ESFI, and I'm here with Snoot at IPL5 in Las Vegas. Snoot, how are you doing, man? I'm doing fine. Thanks. That's awesome. You got a round four seed after your performance in the IPL5 EU satellite. You defeated Slivko, Real, Koss, Happy, and Mana in the finals. After that performance in the satellite, do you think you can make it top eight or higher at this event coming into this weekend? Top eight would have been really good, but um, I made it to top 16, and I'm not entirely satisfied with it. I was hoping to be in like the better half. For me, it was a 24-man tournament, so I wanted to be in the top 12, and I think that's where I would have been if I had defeated Bomber, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. And what, yeah, What do you think went wrong for you in that series against Bomber? No, I, I wasted too many units over and over. There were some really simple mistakes, especially in the third game, where I uh, had a really good lead, but I was unable to macro and control my units properly. And I had some really bad engagements, and Bomber microed really well and also macroed really well. So despite me having a base advantage, I kind of threw the game by not making enough units and making the right engagements and decisions. Well, you did beat Startail Life. That's so true. how did that series go and what did it feel like to beat him, the first Royal Rotor? <coughs> uh, it felt quite good. In the first game, he went for, an re uh, for a really aggressive opening and I was caught off guard. Uh, despite having like four queens to defend, he still managed to break me on Metropolis. So after that first game, I felt a bit down. I had lost two games to Violet and now I lost another game to Life. I still hadn't won a single game. But then I just decided to give it my best. And then I was able to claw myself back in in a really nice straight up macro game on Cloud Kingdom. A really good map for me. So, um, yeah, I feel quite comfortable playing CVC on Cloud Kingdom. And it really helped me in to, you know, coming back against life. And in the third game, I was able to do a really clutch, like Nidus all in. Because he had some blind spots in his base and I was able to exploit that. What do you think right now about uh, Zerg's balance, and do you think it's imbalanced? I don't know. There, there, there's obviously a lot of discussion going going on, but in the games I watched, then a lot of these Terran and Protoss players are making some really huge fundamental mistakes, and oftentimes the Zergs just play better and don't make the same types of mistakes. And I, I often see players not splitting their units enough preemptively, um, but it's it's tough to say. I guess Blizzard will have to look at it. You know, I can just see that many games, but I don't have a like, really good view of the big picture. So, Well, how do you like these events compared to European tournaments, and what do you like and dislike about them? Uh, the thing I dislike the most would be the traveling, obviously. You get really jet-lagged, especially when you return back home <coughs> from the US. It's, um, it knocks you out for quite a lot of days. Mm. But what I like about, especially about IPL5, is um, the venue, that it's not like this really noisy, um, how should I say this, like event venue. Mm. Like crowded and... Just y yeah, it's not like a convention center. Right. And um, that was really good, you know, you have these really comfortable facilities and some really good hotel rooms, so it's nice that we are being taken care of this way. Did you uh, enjoy the format of the way it is? Like, I mean, going just one big open bracket, or do you prefer groups into championship bracket? I really like group play. Uh, I think it helps in um, making it's it's a, a lot better for players that are consistent overall. It's uh, very easy to be knocked out by a nemesis player, or you know, someone s some say you meet the bad race, some. If you have a weakness against a certain race, then you would wish that you could play a CVC or CVT or, you know, whatever. So I really like group play, but um, the thing I liked about this tournament was the double elimination and that there was a loser bracket. That's always really good. What other Zergs do you keep an eye on and watch in VODs when you're going over your own gameplay and take from them and to put in your own play? <sighs> Um, the GSL Zergs, mm -hmm. of course. I often look at the GSL for inspiration. And as for European Zergs, I look to um, uh, Stefano, Nurcio, Vortex, and uh, American Zergs, I guess I look to uh, Scarlet for inspiration. Do you take a more micro or macro oriented approach in your gameplay overall? What do you think is your strength? Hmm, good question. I do a lot of different things, but I guess one of my strengths is my I'm a bit unpredictable, and I can also 
sometimes I can see a weakness and I will just go really aggressive and exploit that weakness. I think that's one of my strengths. Well, you're now on Team Gamers League, or you've been on Team Gamers League for a while now. How have they treated you as a player, and do you ever plan on um, maybe possibly joining a bigger team and uh, going to a, making a bigger name for yourself, I should say? Or is gamer, everything with Gamers League going well? I'm really happy with my team. Mm -hmm. They've been taking great care of me, and uh, I've been, you know, I've been in the team since very early on, like a few months after the team was created. So um, we have a really nice atmosphere, and we also have some good sponsors. And yeah, um, it's just a really good team to be in. Almost all Norwegians, so we have, you know, we're all friends. Um, but my contract is expiring uh, this year. So I will take other offers into consideration as well when it comes to uh, 2013. Well, right now we have a ZVZ Finals in IPL5 with Lenoch going up against Violet, who we beat in the winners' final. Who do you think is going to take it? Uh, I'm cheering for Violet, but Lenoch is probably the favorite to win. He has some really good CVC, so I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Lenoch take it. What's the next big tournament for your event, or just local land, anything nearby you, and how are you feeling going into that? Uh, once again, sorry. Oh, what's the next event or just land nearby you? Or oh, uh, there, I don't think there are any lands nearby me, but mm -hmm. I'm going to, um, let's see. Uh, <coughs> let me think. And here. the Home Story Cup qualifiers are coming up, so yeah. next week. I want to go to Home Story Cup. Yeah. <laughs> I was there last time, but only as a replacement. Mm -hmm. So hopefully Home Story Cup and um, Let's see. There's also the qualifiers for Intel Extreme Masters coming up soon. So I'm going to try and qualify for the IM in Poland. And in uh, next year, we also have the uh, Asset Winters Masters in Germany. So that's going to be nice. So I got some different tournaments coming up. But, you know, right now, during Christmas, it's going to be a bit calm. Well, good luck with those, man. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Uh, you can give any last words or final thoughts. Mm, shout outs to my team, Team Gamers League, and to all the fans who are cheering for me. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> right. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it.